All right, so I'm going to look at some of the research tools that are available um, in QGIS for working with vector data. So a lot of this is going to have to do with things like sampling um, or uh, creating like grid patterns that you can aggregate data against. All right, so if we go to the vector list again, do we have these uh, research tools option? Uh, first, let's look at um, generating random points. Um, inside of polygons. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we use the states. You can get it based on density or by count. We'll just do by count. And um, we'll do, I don't know, let's do 100 points. Now, I'm not sure by default if this is going to give us back a strata where it's 100 per state which is 100 total. I think it's 100 total. So let's see what that does. Now that looks like it's 100 per state. Yeah, that's definitely 100 per state. So it gives us back 100 random points per state. Um, note that when you do this type of sampling work, you can do things like uh, set minimal distances and things between the samples. Um, I didn't do that in this case. Okay, so that's an example of generating random points that you know could be used for sampling or some type of statistical analysis. Note that there's a lot of other options for sampling, so you can do random points within an extent, um, um, in, within layer boundary inside polygons. Um, let's look at actually selecting features. So this random selection option allows you to do random selection of existing features. So for example, we could grab the states and we could uh, randomly sample a subset of states. So let's just pick like randomly select three states. Um, and you can do it by percentage of the features or the number. So we'll just leave it at number. And you can see that interactively selected three states there. And if you run it again, you're going to get different selections each time. Let me clear that out. So um, yeah, it should, should give you different results each time you run it. So let's do three again and number of features. Oop, that did not work. Let me tr research tools, random selection. Oh, I, that's because I, ha I had the wrong input. So states, three, run. And there we got three different selections. Okay, so that's uh, random selecting features, creating random points. Another common uh, technique is to do um, some type of like grid pattern or tessellation. So that's what this create grid option is for. Okay, so um, let's create a, a, a grid. There's points, grid of points, grid of lines, rectangles, diamonds, hexagons. We'll just do hexagons. Uh, let's make them pretty big. Maybe like I'll do. Uh, let's see here. We'll do 50 by 50 kilometers. Change this over to kilometers, and we don't need any overlap. We leave it relative to the current projection, and we'll set the extent to be use layer extent, and we'll have it fill the states. And let's run that. Okay, so there we have a bunch of uh, 50 by 50 kilometer um, hexagons that fill the extent of the state. I know that it's a full rectangle, so if you just wanted to clip it down to the state extent, or sorry, the US extent, then you could do a clip on that and out, um, output. So we'll do, uh, we want to do our grid and then relative to the states. and turn this off so now we just have hexagons across the entire country and then if you wanted you could do some type of like data aggregation or analysis using those as your uh, your aggregating unit um, so anyway I think that some of the research tools that are available in QGIS are actually uh, pretty robust and they're actually pretty useful so they're worth looking into